When it comes to installing trailer hitches, there are two things that every installer wants. A product that meets his customer's needs and one that installs in as few steps as possible. The Reese SteadyFlex does both. The SteadyFlex is an all-in-one sway control and weight distribution solution. It features heavy-duty construction and six-point sway control with automotive-grade friction pads, which offer more resistance to sway for better overall handling, plus quieter operation and less wear and tear on metal hitch components. But what I like best about the SteadyFlex is that it was designed with input from professional installers like me. Installers told Reese they wanted a quality, durable hitch that installed without drilling or complicated measurements. And Reese totally delivered. With the SteadyFlex, the new presets mean no time-consuming adjustments. The no-fuss, no-muss measuring makes installation that much easier. Today I'm going to show you the simple three-step process for installing a Reese SteadyFlex. After you've watched this a few times, you should be able to do it yourself in no time at all. We measured the tongue weight on the trailer and checked the gross trailer weight. And based on those numbers, we selected the 1,000-pound SteadyFlex kit for this installation. The tools you'll need are all pretty basic. Two socket wrenches, a 1 and 1 8 inch and a 15 16 inch, a flathead screwdriver, a torque wrench capable of 450 foot pounds, a hammer, and a pencil and tape measure. Step one is installing the frame brackets. Measure 30 inches from the trailer coupler and install the T-bar and clamping bar using the designated hex bolts and lock nuts. Make sure the T-bar is on the outside of the trailer frame and the clamping bar is on the inside. If you encountered obstruction along the trailer frame, that's no problem. You can adjust inward to as little as 27 inches or out as much as 32 inches. Once the bars are in place, slide the adjustable frame bracket over the T-bar and fasten a hex bolt and conical washer like this. If you're working on a top mounted coupler, you want to leave just this one threaded hole visible. If it's a bottom mount, and you're working with a five inch tall frame, you want three holes showing. If the frame is six inches tall, you want four holes showing. Torque all the fasteners to 130 foot pounds and you're one third of the way done. Step two, installing the ball mount. Remember that before you begin this step, you'll need to choose a hitch ball that meets or exceeds the rating of the kit. Install the hitch ball onto the ball mount using a hex bolt, lock washer, and hex nut. Torque it to 450 foot-pounds. Next, you want to insert the hitch bar into the tow vehicle hitch and secure it with the pull pin and spring clip. Another nice feature of the SteadyFlex is that it includes a deeper drop shank, so you can accommodate different truck heights without having to source an additional shank. All right. Once the bar is in position, you want to adjust the ball mount so that the top of the ball sits anywhere from half of an inch to one inch above the top of the level trailer coupler. Install the lower and shorter bolt assembly. The SteadyFlex comes with two shims to help you tighten faster. Once you have the height set, you're ready to install the top bolt assembly, including the hex bolts, tooth washers, lock washer, and hex nut. Make sure the tooth washer is in the preset location as shown here. Then torque the fasteners to 300 foot pounds. Rotate the adjustment bolt counterclockwise until it's snug. Then tap it another one quarter to one half turn. Step three, installing the spring bars. Spring bars are a real Reese specialty. The SteadyFlex features premium tapered steel bars instead of the non-tapered square bars you get with other weight distribution hitches. They're built to flex, so the driver gets a smoother ride with less wear and tear on the vehicle. Attach the hitch ball to the trailer coupler. Be sure to lock the coupler. Now insert a spring bar into the ball mount and secure it with a clevis pin and spring clip. 
Use your jack to raise the hitch high enough to swing the spring bar over the friction pad. Swing the spring bar cover down, secure it with a spring clip, and just like that, you're done with that side. Repeat the process on the other side, retract the trailer jack, attach the safety chains, the breakaway cable, and the trailer electrical plug, and you're good to go. You can see how the Steady Flex has evened out the weight distribution so the truck and trailer ride level. Remember that for optimal sway control performance, you'll want to keep 10 to 12 percent of gross trailer weight on the tongue. Making sure the trailer is loaded properly will help you keep you in this range. Installing a Steady Flex is that easy. And as I said earlier, you can work through the entire install a lot faster than you might think. The easy installation of the Steady Flex is a great way to save time and labor. But Steady Flex also saves you time after it's installed, especially on a hitch that's still under warranty. On some competitive hitches, the trunnion bolts tend to get a little loose after about 200 miles, which means a hitch will need to go back to the shop for a professional adjustment. That's not the case with the Steady Flex. It's designed to maintain the proper friction for the life of the product. That means less hassle for everyone. There's no combination sway control and weight distribution hitch in its class that equals Steady Flex for performance and ease of installation. It truly is as easy as ready, steady go.